When we put our name on the Dolby Theater in Hollywood, we didn't just get engaged or going out for a date. We got married. It's a very long-term commitment. And it was a true partnership you know, with the Academy, with the Sim Group. The sponsorship wasn't just something that landed on our lap and we said, oh, this seems cool. We really are lining it up with some great initiatives that Dolby's doing and we're really recommitting ourselves to the cinema business, to Hollywood, to great storytelling. We're gonna uh, bring in the top level cutting edge cinema technologies that Dolby has been uh, developing in the past couple of years. One is called Dolby Atmos, which is really a new way to look at sound in the theater and it's incredible. The sounds are, are coming at you from above and each speaker can be individually modulated to create a really big sense of, of just dimension in the room. The technology itself is actually very intelligent uh, and it scales incredibly well. Uh, the renderer actually knows the environment that it's in and it's really that part of the puzzle that really helps make this kind of sound technology work and especially in a room of that size because it's able to articulately calculate um, the size of the room by knowing that, uh, the shape, geometry, where speakers are, what they're capable of. Some of the challenges for that particular room, given its size, is the fact that we're actually having multiple renderers. Uh, we're going to be using two in that room, uh, possibly three, that are all going to be talking to each other and then allowing Atmos to play back correctly, uh, given balconies and people underneath balconies and the orchestra pit, etc. In my opinion, it's really about making a a very strong statement about our commitment to the participation to the filmmaking industry and to Hollywood in particular about how important that not just that venue is to us but that industry uh, and that is the epicenter and we're proud every year to be able to celebrate you know the Oscars and several other events with that community. Hollywood is not a new destination for us. We've been partnered with the industry for many, many years. And you've heard our technologies. Every time you experience a movie, whether you're going to the theater, whether you're watching at home over DVD or Blu-ray or even streaming a movie, you've been experiencing our technologies. And on behalf of Dolby, I want to welcome you to the unveiling of the Dolby Theater. Yeah. So when you're branding a building, it really is an instinct process and, and it's not just a big sign out front and a website. You really have to dig in and really learn the building, learn the design of it and figure out all the different touch points you can have for the consumer in that space. Pixar is a, an amazing company to work with. Having worked with them before uh, on pushing the boundary of sound, working with them again on what we could do now with the full realization of digital cinema and the technology available for uh, bringing Atmos to market, really it's been a co-development with the industry to make it work. capabilities of this technology really allows us to go much further than what we've been able to do. Now with Dolby Atmos and, and the combination of these technologies together that we're really providing filmmakers ways to transform the storytelling and the art of storytelling and also just give a completely new different experience to audiences and give them that differentiator and just that moment of escapism that they're looking for. Yes. Yes. Yes.